Hi lovely humans! I moved here to San Francisco about 10 days ago. So I arrived in the US from France and since then there have been a bunch of different little things that have been surprising me and that I didn't expect. I'm gonna share with you today 15 random observations that I have made since I arrived. Just not real cultural shocks. Uh, don't expect like deep cultural shock, just little things here and there that surprise me and that we do differently in France. Uh, maybe some of them are specific to San Francisco, some of them are just American things, I guess. You can tell me in the comments. So these 15 things are not going to be in an order of which one surprised me the most, they're just going to be in the order of like when I noticed them. So and the first one is just going to be the first thing that I noticed and it's kind of stupid, it's people really give nicknames to their Wi-Fi. Okay, that sounds super stupid and silly to notice, but when I was trying to, like, to connect to the Wi-Fi of my apartment, I noticed that most people give names to the Wi-Fi, they don't just leave it on the default option. And that's quite funny, because I have seen names like Keep Off My Loan. Like, so I found that really funny. I know that in the US in general, public transportation is not that developed, so people take their car. But here in San Francisco, like you have a really good Transport, public transportation system, so I assume that people would either walk or use like the bus, the tram, etc. But actually, <laughs> lots of them use Uber or Lyft, so they just ask for a taxi and they go. That kind of surprised me to see how much like people would take them for like what would be an essentially like a 15 minute walk, and I'm like, you can walk. I mean, San Francisco is really hilly, so you would have to go up and down a lot, but it's still only like 15 or 20 minutes. Why would you take a cab? Apparently it's the thing here. The third thing I wrote down is that food here is crazy expensive. Especially fruit and vegetables, which is really sad for me because I love vegetables. But in general, lots of basic food items are really quite expensive. The fourth thing I noted was that tipping is so hard. Like, how do you... Why? <laughs> I mean, I never know if I'm supposed to tip or not. Like which situation are you supposed to tip and which in which situations are you not supposed to tip. And then some people tell me that between uh, 10 and 20% is fine, others tell me that between 15 and 25 is fine, and then when you, but when you buy like a drink which is like $6, uh, you give like $2 and then that's like 33%. Like, I don't I don't get tipping and I want to tip and I always tip because I know that people are not paid enough and they need tips, but that still confuses the fuck out of me. <laughs> the fifth thing I noticed is that the oh my gosh thing is real. I'm so sorry if I offended anyone and if that accent shocked you, but like I heard it for the first time when I was in the plane for San Francisco and I heard a girl being like oh my gosh and I was oh wow. No way, that must be just one person. Like, people don't actually talk like that, right? They don't. And then I heard other people say it, say it like that. And I was like, oh, okay, so it's a thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> they take your credit card when you pay. Like, when I'm in a restaurant, I'm used to, like, if I say that I want to pay with using my credit card, they will, they will just bring the machine to me, I will enter my credit card, I will tap my PIN number, and that's it and they will give me the receipt. End of the deal. No, here, they actually just take your card away from you. And you're like, okay, I'm supposed to be comfortable with that? Yeah, yeah, I, I totally trust you. Maybe that's like my untrusting French instinct, but just giving away my credit card to someone who's just gonna take it feels a bit weird to me. But then the next thing I notice is then they make you sign the receipt. Because of course, because you didn't see them like entering the amount they're making you pay, they have to make sure that you sign the receipt. Which I can get, like it's a way of you checking that you paid the right amount. But then I wonder, is there someone who actually checks those signatures? Like maybe you're someone like who stole this credit card and is anyone checking the signature? I don't think so, I don't know. Hmm, if you know, tell me, I would be curious. Then I also noticed that lots of signs in the street are in Chinese. And that I assume is because there is a huge Chinese community in San Francisco and I knew that, but apparently that's what I've heard. Some of them don't speak English. So that would be why there are so many signs like 
even on public buildings that are in Chinese. And I find it quite cool and I actually enjoy seeing Chinese around me because for those who are new on this channel, I have lived in China for a year before, so seeing Chinese everywhere is kind of familiar to me. And I also noticed that there are not a lot of kids and not a lot of cats. Yes, that's just one big category. Like I live in a very like family neighborhood, but the, even if in this neighborhood there are not that, there are not that many kids, I only assume it's because uh, the price of housing in San Francisco is so high that people who want to have kids and who want to have a bigger house probably just move in the suburbs or in like the neighboring cities. And as for cats, I guess they just keep them indoors, but I haven't seen that many cats and that makes me sad. I want to see cats. The fact that the metro is also the tramway is funny, I guess, but that also means that sometimes if there are like traffic on the streets, the metro can be quite slow and that's annoying because like technically it takes me 25 minutes to go to work but because of traffic some days it can take up to like 50 minutes. I also notice that people are on their phone and their tablet a lot and I don't mean that people don't do that elsewhere in the world like I know definitely in Paris people are always on their phone but here it's really like a step beyond that like I feel like in the public transport, everyone's on their phone, everyone's on their tablet, almost no one's reading. Uh, then when you go to Starbucks or anywhere, you will just see, mm -hmm. it's the Silicon Valley, it's San Francisco, people have businesses to run, I guess. So that more or less makes sense, and I'm not mad at that, I just noticed that. Ah, the next one, uh, the 12th, like, one of the other things I noticed is that boba is a big thing here. And I don't know what boba is. I guess it's a sort of bubble tea, but I don't know. And it's called boba and everyone loves it. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. <laughs> also, weed. Uh, I'm getting desensitized to the smell of weed. Like I was not, over I was not that sensitive to the smell of weed. Like I don't think it smells bad. And even if I don't use weed, like, I was used in Paris to like sometimes smell someone smoking weed, but here it's really everywhere. Like weed is legal for rec recreational use and lots of people smoke it. So you will see and s smell lots of weed all the time. And I have had people like offer me to smoke weed in casual conversations in the street. And that's perfectly fine. That's kind of funny to me. That's not my thing, but that's funny. People let you cross the street. Maybe that's a cultural shock because I'm French and we don't, I don't know, or maybe it's just because I'm from Paris. And But here, like when you want to cross the road, like almost always the car will stop to let you cross. Not, not, not always, not in the financial district, but in all the little neighborhoods, it's just expect that it will let you cross the road. And that's pretty nice. Forty things that I've noticed uh, may surprise you a bit. It's about homeless people. And I say it might surprise you because when I was reading online on San Francisco and preparing myself for this big move, I read a lot about homeless people and how there were so many of them. And maybe that's because I spent too much time on Reddit, but I had this image of San Francisco like I was gonna, I was expecting to see really many junkies or homeless people just shooting themselves up with heroin in the street, like that kind of thing. And I'm sure maybe like that probably happens in some neighborhood, especially in the Tenderloin, but I haven't been to the Tenderloin because as a woman visiting a new city alone, that's not a good idea, I've been told. But outside of there, like, so I haven't seen anything like that. I have seen lots of homeless. Of course, there are lots of homeless, but I was expecting that and in lots of big cities there are lots of homeless, like I mean in Paris there are really a lot of homeless people and they're not that bad, like really not. Even in my experience they're quite nice, they're a bit weird or they have their quirks, but here homeless people are really quite nice in general and they're not too pushy to ask you for money, really not actually. And as long as you acknowledge them, they are nice. Like, they just want to be recognized and acknowledged as other human beings, not just ignored. Like, just a polite smile and a nod. 
and that's it so in my experience i was expecting it to be really worse than that and the last thing we people are so positive here <laughs> it's kind of funny because i knew americans in general are like known in france for being really bubbly and loud and obnoxious and positive but it's a real thing i feel like people are so enthusiastic and they have like so much energy and they're like yeah that's awesome and like when you say anything even the most basic thing they're like oh that's so cool yeah that's a great idea and they are so positive all the time i think maybe on the long run that will get annoying or if people are kind of not honest i will get annoyed but so far like for friendship or just uh, daily interactions with acquaintances or strangers it's quite pleasant to have this feeling that people are not annoyed by the fact you're talking to them like, i think that's something i could learn from because i am someone who tends to look a lot at the criticism i can make and like i see the positive but i'm also really focused on seeing the negative side of things and i think i could learn from this perspective of just taking things as they go and like trying to turn them around to see the positive and how you can make it better and benefit from the opportunity. I think that's a good outlook on life and I really want to inspire myself from that. So thank you very much for watching. These were my 15 random observations from a French person who just moved out in the Bay Area. I don't know what the title is going to look like because that's super long. Anyway, whether you agree or disagree, I will be really happy to have your opinions in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. I'm quite active there. I post lots of pictures. And yeah, hope you're having a nice day and see you soon. I am filming this video right now, but I'm not 100% sure there's not going to be an aircraft going up above the house and just blowing up all the noise of the video because it's Fleet Week, y'all. And if you don't know what Fleet Week is, it's basically a demonstration of like military aircraft and ships and etc. But that also means that there are lots of military airplanes just going in the sky all the time and they make so much noise. I think it's gonna be fine. Hope so. Right, like, ah.